Emily Jordan thought cervical cancer would end her chances of having a baby with her husband. Very quickly after going to a bunch of doctors, we realized that I was going to have to have a radical hysterectomy. And that sort of put an end to the dream that we had of you know, being parents and having a baby. Then came even more painful news from a doctor right before her surgery. She came up and over to the bed and was shaking her head and she's like, Emily, I have to tell you, you know, we were required to run a pregnancy test before we start surgery and, you know, yours came back positive. And I, I can't describe what, what, what that was like after, after finding out you have cancer, after finding out you you know, your chance of ever carrying a baby is gone, and then you find out that everything that you wanted was, like, within your grasp. There's something right there. She's like, stop pushing on me, guys. Emily's mom, Cindy Reitzel, was equally devastated for her daughter and son-in-law. The thought of Emily and Mike not getting, not being able to have children um, and sort of share that piece of their lives with, with someone just broke my heart. I want Emily to have that connection with another human being like I had with her. Oh my gosh. Doctors were able to save Emily's ovaries and her mom made a surprising offer. Oh gosh, I can't wait to see her in here. She wanted to be a surrogate and carry the couple's baby. Mike and I were both pretty much like, I don't think you can do that. You know, she's in her early 50s, and we didn't really think that was a, you know, a realistic option. But once we started talking about it in real terms that we really wanted to move forward, um, we couldn't think of a better person than my mom. I worried about the physical ramifications of being pregnant at this age because I had no idea what to expect. Physically, I've had no major issues. So I feel like my body's adjusting well to it because I'm just carrying at this point. I'm just hauling this baby around for nine months, and that's, that's what my role is. Reitzel worried about people's reactions but says they've been quite positive. Still, she remains very clear about her role. She is grandma. The end result of this is that two wonderful people are going to get to raise their baby, their their baby. Now the Jordans await their baby girl who will arrive very soon. This is a continuation of everything that she has done her entire life for me, which is to make sure that I have the best life possible. This just reaffirms everything that I know about her and love about her and the relationship that we have. Martha Irvin, Associated Press.